Loyola University is a small Jesuit university located alongside Lake Michigan on the north side of Chicago. With just over 10,000 undergraduates, the school doesn't strike anyone as an athletic powerhouse. They have no football team and play most of their sports in the under-the-radar Missouri Valley Conference. However, there is one team drawing some big attention to Gentile Arena. Loyola's men's volleyball team won the NCAA Division I National Championship in 2014, and with a second straight title in sight, the team knows it needs to stay focused. I think it's just trying to like maintain the hunger. I mean, last year we definitely had it. And uh, this year there's been some def definite lulls uh, on different days, you know, where you just have to remind guys to get after and what the ultimate goal is. We got a taste of it last year, and then you want it again in hopes that the same formula will, will hopefully work. So. The Ramblers are currently ranked second in the country with only two losses. They faced off against Quincy University in the first round of their conference tournament on Friday, April 24th. Even though Loyola has been successful in recent years, the West Coast has always been the epicenter of men's college volleyball. No Midwestern team won the national title until 2003, and as volleyball blogger Vinny Lopes says, the sport has only recently gained popularity in America's heartland. Basketball is so popular, so during the winter, you would have schools teach basketball, and you would play basketball, and you only had one gym, so there would be basketball that, that you play out in the West Coast. From an early age, they're playing volleyball, boys volleyball, um, you know, just like you would in the Midwest, you know, basketball or, you know, TV football. Because of the West Coast dominance, Rambler head coach Shane Davis, who played at Loyola until his graduation in 2003, casts a wide net when it comes to recruiting. You've got to go uh, across the nation. You've got to go uh, West Coast, East Coast um, is uh, basically kind of our, our recruiting area. Shane's such a personable, energetic guy. And, you know, when you get him into a recruit's home, you know, that type of personality rubs off. Davis's successful recruiting tactics have resulted in a roster of players from both the Midwest and the West Coast. The players also bring with them different levels of volleyball experience. Well, I started in second grade just playing on the beach. I started playing like competitively indoor, sixth grade, just for my elementary school, and then um, never stopped since. While Craner's been bump set and spiking since he was in diapers, Illinois native Thomas Jaschke didn't pick up a volleyball until he was 16. One of my friends, he's like, volleyball would make sense for you. You know, maybe you should try it out. And it was like the day of tryouts. And I was like, okay, sure. So I just decided to try out. And I'd never played before and uh, hit a couple balls and it was fun, so I stuck with it. Another Midwesterner, setter Peter Hutz, came to Loyola from Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. I knew that I wanted to play Division I volleyball um, in college and there aren't too many Division I programs throughout the country. In fact, a surprisingly small number of schools play Division I volleyball, 39. According to Lopes, one of the reasons may be Title IX. It comes down to Title IX. If you had a men's sport, you're not only having to spend the money on that men's sport, you're needing to double down that money because you're going to have to put equal amount of money towards the women's sport. Loyola took advantage of the lack of competition and invested in their volleyball facilities. That investment has paid huge dividends, including a national championship. I think one of the things that's greatly helped Loyola and their ability to grow that program has been that the university really put an investment in the program and they were into it. They kind of looked at the situation and thought that they had an opportunity to win a national championship if they properly funded the sport. What Loyola has been able to do with uh, the campus facilities, uh, everything's got the new car smell, so I think it draws a lot of uh, high caliber athletes. The athletes were indeed high caliber on Friday, sweeping Quincy three sets to none to advance to the conference semifinals. In the semis, the Ramblers knocked off Ohio State three sets to one. Loyola advances to the conference championship where they will face Lewis, the only team to defeat the Ramblers this season. Win or lose, Loyola's all but assured a bid to the NCAA tournament at Stanford University where they'll seek a second straight national title and attempt to continue their unexpected run. For Tara Wendell and Amanda Hermans, I'm Michael Stern, Medill.